the complement system. Now we have studied all the three pathways of complement activation, which are the alternative pathway, lectin pathway, the classical pathway. All these pathways of complement activation generate C3 convertase. The C3 convertase of the alternative pathway is represented by C3BBB complex, whereas the C3 convertase of lactin and classical pathway is represented by C4B2A complex. This C3 convertase further cleaves more C3 proteins into C3B and C3A. The C3B molecules they bind to the microbial surface and C3A molecules are released. The binding of C3B molecules to the microbial surface finally results in the coating of the microbial surface with the C3B molecules. Cleavage of C3 is the critical step in complement activation and it leads to the terminal steps of the complement pathways. Let's study them one by one. We saw that in all these three pathways of complement activation, smaller fragments are released. For example, C3A, C5A. So what is the function of these smaller fragments? These smaller fragments act as chemoattractants. They activate and recruit phagocytes. Besides this function, they also induce degranulation of mast cells and basophils. Remember, the granules of mast cells and basophil contains vasoactive mediators. Thus, these smaller fragments affect dilation of blood vessels and vascular permeability by inducing degranulation in these cells. So, smaller fragments promote inflammation. Complement activation also leads to opsonization. How? C3B molecules bind covalently to the microbial surface and act as opsonin. This we have studied in the video lecture on opsonization. Now this coating leads to the enhanced uptake and killing of microbes by phagocytosis since they express C3B receptors. Finally, we have come to the most important consequence of complement activation and it is the formation of membrane attack complex, abbreviated as MAC. First, we have to understand formation of C5 convertase. As the name indicates, C5 convertase means it cleaves protein C5 into larger and smaller fragments. So how C5 convertase is formed? When one or more C3B proteins binds to the C3 convertase, it results in an enzyme which acts on C5 and known as C5 convertase. This C5 convertase cleaves C5 into C5A and C5B. C5A, the smaller fragment which triggers inflammation and C5B contributes the formation of membrane attack complex. Membrane attack complex is a structure formed by complement proteins. It forms holes or pores in the microbial cell membrane and results in destruction of the microbe by cell lysis. C5B initiates the formation of membrane attack complex. In the first step, complement protein C6 comes and binds to C5B. This C5B6 complex then binds one molecule of C7. With this binding, a hydrophobic site is exposed on C7 and then it inserts into the lipid bilayer of the microbe. Now, 
complement protein C8 comes and binds to C5B and also inserts into the lipid bilayer. Complement protein C8 initiates the polymerization of 10 to 16 molecules of C9 which forms the transmembrane pore known as membrane attack complex. Such pores are formed all over the microbial cell membrane and these pores allow the inflow of extracellular fluid through the transmembrane channel formed by membrane attack complex. This results in osmotic lysis of the microbe. At the end of this video lecture, let us now recall what we have studied. The complement system is a group of serum proteins which assists or complements the immune cells in destroying the invading pathogens. There are three pathways of complement activation, the alternative pathway, the lactin pathway, and the classical pathway. The alternative pathway is initiated by the pathogen or the antigen alo alone. Lectin pathway is initiated by the mannose binding lectin. And the classical pathway is initiated by the antibodies. All these three pathways results in the formation or generation of C3 convertase. The C3 convertase leaves complement protein C3 into C3B and C3A molecules. C3B molecules which are the larger fragments decode, decode the microbial surface whereas the smaller fragments are released and they contribute to inflammation. Once the microbial surface is coated by the C3B molecules, the C3B molecule acts as opsonins and they contribute to and hence phagocytosis, which we know as opsonization. Other than that, when more molecules of C3B are bound to C3 convertase, then it results in the formation of C5 convertase, which through a series of reaction results in the formation of membrane attack complex, which forms pores or holes in the microbial cell membrane and results in the destruction of pathogen by cytolysis.